Greetings, respected viewers. I am George from Ireland. So behind me, you can see the house where Isengard Kingdom Brunel lived with the two eagles on the uh, gateposts there. So very big, they're very wealthy. Um, and his father, Marc Brunel. So uh, Marc Brunel was from France. He came over here. He married a Britisher and Isambard was born here. His father was a refugee from the French Revolution. So I know pro-refugee people say, you see, you see what wonders it can work. Uh, anyway, he was an engineer himself, Marc, M-A-R-C. And uh, Isambard Kingdom Brunel, he went to uh, school and to some college in France because his father thought the French standard of engineering was far superior. So uh, I know precious a little about engineering, but um, Ma uh, Isambard Kingdom Brunel built loads of things that many people wouldn't stand up like the Iron Bridge in the West Midlands of England, um, uh, Clifford Suspension Bridge in Bristol, still standing. The main engineer of the Great Western Railway, it was a, a fantastic time for a man of his talents because the railway was expanding so much, George Stephenson having invented the train in 1825. So that the United Kingdom began to gird the world with iron, as they said, building railways abroad. And um, British engineers building bridges abroad, like in Hungary and all sorts of places, even if it wasn't for a railway. So, um, and he built a, a tunnel under the Thames, a foot tunnel, and it was through soft loam, which is very difficult, and it was the longest tunnel of its kind in the world. It took eight years to build. Was it worth it? It's questionable. But anyway, that is it's, it's still open. I've been across it near Greenwich. Um, and all sorts of other things. Uh, the, uh, the SS Great Eastern, the SS Great Britain, one that was the largest ship in the world at the time, meant to be an army transport ship, but actually uh, it was so big and unwieldy that it was broken up after only about 10 years. It was built further down the Thames, much further down the Thames, um, well, a bit further, further eastern Greenwich. So that's the house they lived in. It was a very short man who wore stovepipe hats, smoked like a chimney, and died relatively young. He was married, had quite a few children, uh, and he's uh, buried at uh, Kensal Green Cemetery. Now, you'll be completely underwhelmed by his, uh, by his grave when you see it and the, the headstone, and quite a few members of his family lie in eternal rest there with him. But if you want to see you know, monuments to, to, to Brunel, you've obviously got to see the things that he built. And of course, it's Brunel University in Uxbridge, named in his honor, though he had no particular connection with Uxbridge. A few statues of around. So this huge house here will, um, the Moravians had it built, that's that, that, that Protestant sect from what's now the Czech Republic. But they were like, there were lots of Germans at the time. We set up here in London in, was it the early, early 18th century? And their church is not that far behind it. And Thomas More used to own the land here, St. Thomas More. I'm uh, sorry, More, not More. More, the English saint and Lord Chancellor. Because this is Chelsea, and this is well outside London, come back to the 16th century. So we're right beside the Thames. Look at these houseboats. So these are actually quite luxurious houseboats. Even the cheaper houseboats are £50,000. It requires a lot of maintenance, pump out and so on. And usually you can't moor somewhere for more than two weeks. Perhaps these ones are an exception. Because look, they're always cycling onto this. Anyway, this is chain walk um, in, in Chelsea. All right, I'll switch it off now. Toodaloo.